Another rung on the ladder that Jimenez is trying to climb, and I'm really excited to see what happens here. And it's just about go time. Double Ruta shoes on the mat, and here yep. we go. 50 kilograms in the red, Alyssa Lampy. In the blue, Audrey Jimenez. And coming out right away. There's a single leg, good sprawl from Jimenez, trying to square her hips around. She's got a chest wrap position. Trying to lift, big lift for Melissa Lampy. She's gonna put her down for two. Really nice adjustment. Bottom leg cradle here. Jimenez getting that chest of the mat. Really nice adjustment to avoid giving up four, two but there's more. a turn. Uh-oh, she may be in trouble here. She's in the zone, not out of bounds. And Jimenez trying to fight down and does. Able to get off her back, but not before going down 4-0 in the first 36 seconds. Alyssa Lampy with Nate Engel in the corner. He is a great game planner, and normally it's Audrey Jimenez in on the leg all match long, but it was Lampy on that shot right away, capitalized. Yeah. Same single leg, she's in again. Shin Wizard from Audrey Jimenez trying to fight out of it, and does. Lampy comes up with an underhook. Jimenez clears out, and as you pointed out, David, it's Alyssa Lampy with an aggressive leg attack strategy so far. And there's a single leg, but it's a go-behind for Alyssa Lampy. Great job by Alyssa, extending her lead 6-0. In the first minute of the match, Lampy just looks too big and strong and physical, and now here she is trying to lock up a high gut. Does she have the lock? It doesn't look like it. Minute, zero. minute 47 to go. Jimenez. Got to try to find a way to generate a little bit of offense. There's another leg attack with shallow penetration there. Really nice down block there from Lampy and goes the other wow. way. In on a high crotch, but very extended. And you see Lampy's got that ankle pulled up. That's going to make it really hard for Jimenez to improve her position. Lampy keeping her hips back. And now they'll stalemate it, bring it back up. 126 to go in the first period. Lampy. Really imposing so far. Jimenez nice gets to that leg. single. In deep, trying to circle towards her right is Audrey Jimenez. Minute 14 to go here in the first period. But you see that cross face there that Alyssa has is preventing her from improving her position. You know, you hear about people trying to gas out a wrestler by hand, the hand fight, that type of thing. Audrey will do it by getting to the leg. A lot of times she'll get to a leg four or five times before she finishes her first shot, and then the finishes will start coming. We'll see if she can... Pull that off here tonight. So far, Alyssa Lampy done a masterful job preventing Audrey from scoring. 50 seconds to go. Takedown at the end of this period would be a big momentum shift, I think, for Jimenez. Another nice single leg, same side. Shin Whizzer once again for Audrey Jimenez. Trying to take that foot out is Alyssa Lampy. Good position here for Jimenez to defend. 30 to go. And it looks like Alyssa was content to just hang out there after getting in deep once more. A lot of offense from Melissa Lampy. Of course, Sarah Brill Hildebrandt sits in the final X, June 10th. Winner here will take on Sarah, who's been a mainstay on the senior level. Bringing home medals every time recently. And look at that wrist control. Same Strong single. Grip. Good defense, but now coming up with an underhook and dropping down is Audrey Jimenez. Short time in the first period. And that is gonna do it. 6-0 Lampy after one. Jimenez has made some nice adjustments to slow Lampy down. Those first six points came really, really fast. And it looked like Lampy might end this match early. Jimenez has made adjustments to slow down the scoring, but still unable to find her finish. See if that happens. And, and really only locked in the leg a couple times. Here you see Coach Nate Angle, one of the best in the business, giving some advice to his athlete, Alyssa Lampy. Aaron Claudio also there, coaching. Mark Perry in the corner for Audrey Jimenez. And we are back underway in the second period. And if last night was any indication, we could have some insanity in these second periods. Yeah, what a set of finals last night. And this one seems like it's going to be a lot of fun as well. There she is to the nice. leg. Single leg in deep, but the heavy hips of Alyssa Lampy are extending Audrey and not able to pull that leg in at this point. And Alyssa just gonna keep her hips on top, prevent Audrey from getting the finish. They'll go back to center. But that's the best angle Audrey's had on a leg attack thus far. Yep, absolutely. 
Wow, low shot. She's got the ankle and a single leg on the other side. Can she pull it in? She loses the ankle, switches that single, extended once more, and another stalemate. I bet collectively both of these wrestlers have got to the legs four or four, six times and just got stuck underneath there. So a lot of offense, a lot of action. It's an exhausting place to be and so we'll see if pace becomes a factor for one of these women. Same wrap arm, single leg, stepping behind. Alyssa Lampy in a little better position to finish because she stepped behind completely. Looking, threatens that near side cradle, which winds up making Audrey turn down 8-0. Lampy, and a turn would end it here. She throws an arm bar and a wrist, trying to take Jimenez over. Audrey trying to fight that bottom hand, and so far, no turn. 8-0, all Lampy. Minute 40 to go here in this match, and Audrey bouncing in the center, ready to get back to work. Audrey undeterred, continues to attack. There's a low shot, that's close. There's the finish, does she have a lace? This could get interesting, 8-2, 90 seconds to go. Does she have a lace? Yes. Can she get a turn from it, though? Getting closer, she's bringing the knees together. If she yep. has enough time, she might be able to get it. This could be trouble, she's got it, 8-4. Oh my gosh, this is tight. This could happen, 8-6. 8-8, eight, eight, Jimenez in the lead. And Lampy is hurt or gassed or both. She's taking her time here, laying in the center of the mat, and I don't know if the medical staff is coming. Coach Perry, furious in the corner, saying let's get going and gonna be some injury time. What a shot, and then that transition. I didn't think she was gonna get the lace. The knees were so far apart, but she made that adjustment, and that's a technical area she's focused on. 8-8 eight, eight lead on criteria. Let's take another look at this. Yeah, she get, once she got the, got the knees together, it was all but over, and takes her all the way across the mat for three turns, and that puts her in the lead by criteria, 8-8. Eight to eight. At the break, you said, man, these matches last night, the finals got weird, they got wild, and uh, we've already got a crazy comeback right now, down eight points. It's a lead on criteria for the high school junior. All right, minute 12 to go. Alyssa Lampy back out after getting some medical attention after that brutal leg lace from Audrey Jimenez. And Jimenez keeping her motion high, another shot, she's in deep. Trying to add to her lead. She's extended and Lampy just defending, not really looking to counter score at this point. And they'll go back up and I wonder if Audrey's saying, I just need to stay on the offense. I can't let Alyssa get back in on that single leg. Yeah, Jimenez already with a lot of age level world experience and it's one of the things she's talked about in interviews is that sticking to her offense is the plan that tends to work and there's a drag, drag attack. That was close. Inside control now cleared out, 40 seconds to go. Another sweep single, good angle for a moment there but now Alyssa Lampy gets her arm in the middle there. Kind of a cross face and she's got that near ankle. This is a tough, tough position for Audrey. She's gonna have to fight hard to give up this go behind. And she's so far done a nice job of that. Who's that? That should be too blue. They go too red, interesting. We're gonna see a brick, no. Jimenez comes to her Jimenez, feet. if she finishes this, she gets just one for the reversal. She's working up. Not much time. Trying to finish. She needs a turn. That's one. She, she needs, needs to turn. get a turn. Two seconds. They don't know. Oh, they go two. No, it's just one. It was a scoreboard oh, error. It was a scoreboard error. And so 10-9. Alyssa Lampy wins. Here comes the Brit. And, and Mark Perry. Yeah, I could tell they, they didn't realize the score. So. Audrey only gets one there because it was a takedown from Alyssa and she just came around for the reversal. Now, if they're how far back are they gonna go that's here? That's the thing, because if they're challenging that, that hip tip, it's not, I, I don't think they're gonna be able to go back that I far. I don't think they can go back that far, um, and they're not, based on this, the replay we're seeing up on the big board. Yeah. And, they, and that's when I think the brick should have come with, with Mark. Yeah, on that initial two. What a battle. 
And, and yeah, this is this is going to be one because they never like broke contact or got back neutral yeah. for Audrey to get this, for it to be a takedown. Yeah, I agree. And I, Mark has to be a little confused Oh, that's here. what they're looking at. Well, and that, so if they look at the exposure, that's interesting. Because initially, I didn't, I didn't know if that would be Alyssa's point. Yeah, looking at that exposure, I mean, that's going back like, what, 25 seconds? It's, it's significant. It's significant for sure. To blue. Wow. So Audrey is going to win after all. What? What a so change of, oh man, what an what a important challenge. Holy cow. 10-10. Now, now I'm really confused. But Audrey Jimenez, the high school junior, going to take it. Dude, this place is going nuts. What a match. 20 points, an eight point comeback. And we got a high school junior in Final X. She's got Sarah Hildebrandt in June. Unbelievable job. Wow. Man, that, you, you know, talking with Terry Steiner, he's been saying for a few years that this wave the girls that, that have been competing for those U17 spots the last couple of years, they are going to change USA Wrestling. He thinks this is the generation that can beat Japan. Wow. And that, if you don't know, the most dominant force in women's wrestling, really in wrestling, period, is ja J the Japanese women's wrestling team. They're so good. And there's that, man, that crucial lace for 